Here we are with Shinobi no Itoki. I think is it pronounced? I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. <clears throat> yeah all i know about this is basically we have our main character here and apparently he got attacked because he's the heir to something to a ninja some something organization or something i don't know and then he goes to a different school with ninjas and shit i don't know so yeah we, we will see <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> That's all, boy. Is this a sniper? No. What? A ninja. Okay, his name is Itoki. And there's the girl. Mm hmm. And gone. That's a lot. <clears throat> I wouldn't bother with all this shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you what mate Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I guess she's out here to kind of protect him, right? Watch out that nothing happens to him, I guess, I think.
OK. <laughs> I guess doing like uh, athletics and stuff is helpful. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's a girl again. No. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, the uncle. I guess the manager was maybe his mother. Yep, the mother. Hell no. <laughs> I would be like, nope, mm -mm, not going to happen. Mm hmm. Oh, guess it's from the girl we saw two times now. Is she maybe the one that does the attack on him? Because she was around when the car almost crashed on him. Hello. <clears throat> She's cute. I'm dumb.
Hmm. Was it just coincidence? Hmm. Or she got the information from the other girl. Nani? Suspicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not happy with it. Because he doesn't know the full picture. The uncle helped him. <laughs> That's sudden. That's very pink. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello. Okay. Yeah, that is that is very sudden, right? I'm waiting for... Oh my god! And this is some of the worst editing I've seen. Like censoring. Just... Yep, there we go. <clears throat> yep. Why go this far and not just kill him right away? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> Technology. And her, uh, of course, everyone is involved that works at the store. I 
I mean, like I said, why go this far and get undressed and not just kill him right away, right? Oh, <laughs> cult ropes? <laughs> Someone is fighting. <laughs> Invisible smoke, okay. It just vanishes. <laughs> Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Suspicious. Well, he dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he dead dead. <clears throat> I mean, this is what happens if you keep secrets, right? He doesn't know anything about it and suddenly he gets attacked and kidnapped. Oh, the uncle is back. <laughs> the carnage. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Tricky. <laughs> oh, booba. Oh no, legs. Okay. <laughs> Looked like cleavage a bit. So this is a crazy episode. So much shit is happening. Mom? I like her voice.
because you are the heir. <laughs> Nie? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that was a crazy episode. But I guess we got the full gist of it, right? He's the heir. The other ninja family wants to kill him to get rid of it. I mean, <clears throat> like I said, I, I feel like they could have avoided this whole thing and prepared him better if they would have told him, right? And like I said, this whole thing that she undressed, right? Why? I mean, you could have poisoned the drink and just be like, yeah, have a, have a sip and then, <clears throat> right? Or you could have just like killed him when you jumped at him. Or jumped on him. You could have taken a knife and then in his throat. But instead, they did this whole thing and he got away. <laughs> I don't know. I think they are not good ninjas. <laughs> if they can't annihilate an enemy, a target, that easily. And they wait so long for him to get away. <laughs> like, when you talk from a logical perspective. Maybe they just wanted to abduct him, but I mean, I don't know, that's... They could have done it quicker, I think, right? And didn't have to wait this long. Okay, here we go. I guess this is the next episode. So yeah, that was the first episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah. Um, I liked it for what it was, right? It's, it didn't blew me away or anything. <clears throat> um, but I mean, the premise is interesting, right? He's the heir to... Uh, ninja clan I, I guess you could say i guess it's a clan right and now there are like these two families of ninjas fighting each other and they want to kill him because he's the heir to the family uh <coughs> but like i said i feel like there's some stuff that doesn't make so much sen sense the whole thing that they waited so long to kill him right because i guess the father is dead for a longer time so he's the heir for a longer time already, right? They had like many chances to kill him already, I would guess. And then they went through this whole process of trying to get him to date this girl and then he goes over to her place. And I would say they had so many opportunities to kill him and they didn't. I mean, she could have poisoned his drink and get him to drink something or when she jumped on top of him, she could have just stabbed him right then and there. Um, but they waited and waited and waited, right? So that's a bit weird i would say and then there's this whole chase scene going on and then they fake the death of the police officer but i mean the police officer that faked his death basically could have because he trusted that he was a real police officer he could have gone close to him and just slit his throat or something and kill him right so another chance to kill him completely failed so from my perspective this seems to be like the worst shinobi ever <laughs> had so many opportunities to kill him which is their plan and they just don't do it but i said maybe they don't want to kill him maybe they try to kidnap him and want him alive but i mean even then they had so many opportunities to do it and they didn't 
seems a bit weird, I would say. But okay, I mean, the story has to progress, right? And <clears throat> this whole thing, like I said, this whole thing could have been avoided if the mother would just be up front to him and be like, here, um, you're the heir to a shinobi clan, blah, blah, blah. But instead, they keep it hidden, they don't talk about it, and then the sh shit happens, right? So that seems a bit bad that you keep something so important something so dangerous hidden from your son i mean i get it she wants to protect him right have a normal life without all these worries i mean this is about life and death right okay um <clears throat> interesting first episode a little bit chaotic with everything that went on all of a sudden right and um yeah it got a bit crazy so we will see how the next episode goes and yeah could be interesting i want to see how it continues right so far first episode didn't blew me away or anything but got at least a bit of my interest i would say but yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching us next time bye bye that was weird <laughs> bye bye